All right, hello guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a little tour of my go-to restaurants in Kiev. So a lot of places are still open during war. Some of them have to run on generators. Some of them have limited menus. Some of the places unfortunately shut down. But one of my goals uh, while being back in Kiev is to put some money into the local economy with uh, jobs and kind of businesses by eating. Because the one thing I'm good at, guys, is eating out. So check it out. Here are some of my favorite places in Kiev. There's so many more, but this is what I eat in about a week. Guys, I'm gonna be going into this very traditional Ukrainian restaurant today. Hello, Piggy. Look at this place, it's beautiful. Go be dead. So, I decided to have some borscht, of course, and this one comes with pre. Popushkin, Papushkin, Papushki, some masala, special uh, sour cream, and then of course a little horseradish uh, vodka. And I'm with my old friend Daria. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, okay. Hello. What are you eating? Hi. I'm eating Daniki. What is it called? Zirune. Zirdaniki. Yeah, Daniki Zirune. I love that. It's like a potato pancake. Yeah, right? it's like a potato pancakes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And this restaurant, what is it called? I don't know. Shh. Sh I don't remember the name. Yes, a bula. It says there. Is that what does it mean? Uh, it's like um, uh, um, kingdom. Village. Kingdom Village, yeah. Kind of like and this is our waiter. Rural. Actually, our waiter looks exactly like him. I don't know if you can see the waiter in the background, but it looks exactly like that figure. But this is like yeah. a very like traditional vintage. place. Like, yeah, yeah. Ukraine, Ukrainian vintage. Yeah. <laughs> traditional place. Very different than where you're living now in the UK. Yes, very different. Do you miss it? I mean, this kind of atmosphere? Uh -huh. Yeah, of course I miss it. I love that. Well, special Uh, thank you. Special Okay. All right, guys. I'm eating my borscht. That's good music too. So I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, because you live in the UK, so you don't. <laughs> yeah. And actually, it's funny because I didn't even stop um, the conversation. I just like yeah, didn't even notice you, it. Oh, now it's back. See, for me, it's so unusual. Yeah, because it's I so can't... normal in Kiev now for the last few months that uh, I don't even notice so it. I'm just like, ah, it'll be okay. Yeah. But in Kiev, it's it's fine. I think in in some Kiev regions, small cities, it's yeah. much much worse. It's really unfortunate for people who live in smaller cities or smaller yeah. towns. Um, but in Kiev, in general, it's not so bad. Like it never comes on that quickly unless they maybe they switch to a generator. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. But like normally the power go out. Do you have generator? No, I don't need that. But like the, you yeah. saw the little LED lights, the small battery light they had. Yeah. Normally what happens is the power goes out and then they just turn on the small lights, maybe use their phone for music, and that's okay. Like, we that's just, fine. We just like that's continue, okay. you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. enjoy eating. <laughs> I have to go back here again. It's my favorite restaurant. Beautiful interior, great food. Actually a good price as well. so far <laughs> I thought it was ours it's not <laughs> to be fair we we had that right they, this table skipped us uh, that's when we had to flag them down <laughs> all right we're having some good dinner tonight guys what is he cooking up Donnie what's your order buddy I don't know man I just got a burger. 
fanciest burger I've ever seen. Oh, that's the cheese. Oh, cool. That's melted cheese. Oh. Salt Bay got nothing on Cheese Bay. You got nothing. Sear Bay. The Aku special. Leaky Duck. That's oh. amazing. Oh my god. That's a burger, buddy. Yeah. Do you call you Bob? Do you call you? Thank you, thank you. In Ukraine, they use this to eat burgers. Yeah, but you're not gonna do that, right? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make fun of anybody. Do you, man, <laughs> grab, have a bite of that. You gotta, tell me, you gotta tell me how good that is. How I much mean, was that? I don't know. I didn't really look. Oh, that ballad. Well, because everything here is actually not that expensive. So. Yeah, food especially. <laughs> Even though it looks expensive as hell, this place. Like, this looks like a fancy looking restaurant, but it's not that Dude, bad expensive. This is the best burger I've ever had in my entire life. No. <laughs> that one, it's like, it's amazing. It's literally like, I, I, I don't know if it's a steak in there or something. Oh my God. Is that good? I don't even care about all this on my face. Oh my god. Look at the... I mean, the bread looks amazing. Look, look at the, the like, layers good. of meat coming off. Like, oh it's god. not just like... I'm not even making that up. Wow. It's amazing. Choy Masla. <laughs> Guys, we are eating good out here. Yeah. In Kiev, the capital. This is what most of Ukraine was like before Russia came. Yeah. Even all the crappy cities, even like Mariupol, they had restaurants like this. And now it's, now it's flat. That's the Russian world that's trying to bring that. Yeah. They just want to take away all your nice stuff because they can't have it. I don't know. Yeah. Moscow is the only nice place in the world. <laughs> I'm going to try a piece of this. That's a good ass burger. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a burger. No, it's like a steak or something. Yeah, I try what it's on the rings too. Yeah. Amazing. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm gonna put down at the bottom how much this was. Would tell me how much this was, would be at this nice restaurant in where you guys live. Tell me the city and how much this burger would cost. Because I have a feeling that this burger is as good or better than those Salt Bay burgers that are like hundred dollars. Yeah, I would never pay that for this like even though they put a little, little tiny piece of gold flake on top. A little gold on there. They for no reason. For they no do reason. This song and dance. I don't want no metal on my burger. Yeah, I don't want a precious metal in my <laughs> digestive system. Like I know. Look at this place guys, this is beautiful. So guys, we uh, were playing video games in the house, but power went out, load shedding. So we decided, you know what, let's go grab some food. So we came to one of our favorite restaurants, probably two doors down from my house, meat and flame. Here we are. Oh, wow. oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't realize it was gonna be like a pork knuckle. <laughs> this looks cool. Uh-huh, nice. The burger was excellent, especially. Amazing. I think we had this last time, right? It was good. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Make sure you keep the bone. I want to eat that bone. Oh my god. The meat is falling apart, guys. Look at that. I hope you're still hungry. You got, you got a little bit of mine. Yeah, I'll help you out. I think that's some kind of cabbage. Purple cabbage, yeah. yeah. Da, 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 da. All right, how much would this be in the U.S.? Oh man, I forty-six bucks. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Careful, buddy. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Salt Bay got nothing on this. You got nothing. Do you have Kuyu, Oh my god, guys. Look at this. Guys, I don't even know what this is because the first pork dish I wanted wasn't in, uh, in stock. But this pork leg looking knuckle thing. 
It's pretty legit. Bad. Guys, when we get the bill, I want you guys to guess how much the bill is going to be. We have. Oh, that's amazing. This one shred, one shred is amazing. This one shred? Yeah, they're really good. We have the best lemonade, charbon lemonade. We got wine. We had the best burger with the plain cheese, onion rings. We have this pork fluffle thing, clay salt. And then we have a special potatoes on the side. Comment below, tell me how much this would be in your city and, and where you guys live. Dig it, buddy. All right, so the bill arrived. Yeah. How what much you, was it, man? Okay, what would this be in the US? Uh, so for your elaborate meal, uh, not only just what you got, but like for for the quality of uh, it, for the presentation and all that stuff, I would say somewhere over 50 US dollars. Like there's no way it would be under 50. With the drinks for sure. Yeah, yeah, with the, oh yeah, you had wine and we had like other drinks. Too, okay. So. And then yours, how much do you think the burger would be? Um, so the... I, I I think that there was some kind of like chicken and some special tea sauce with that all of that. I, I would say maximum in the states for like a specialty burger joint, probably like thirty something, thirty five. Yeah, okay. Like that. like ooh. They need to yeah fix that. Cut, cut that, cut <laughs> no, that. they need to fix that. No no that, that stays in. They need to fix that. Okay. Um, but ooh yeah the uh, that's that's terrible there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so like, you know, like, there's those those top of the notch ridiculous um, burger joints, a hundred dollar burger. I would never do that. Yeah. that I'm, I'm not even gonna. That, that's ridiculous. But would you pay twenty bucks for that? I'd been happy. Oh, easy, easy. I would pay like, I would pay the thirty and then walk away feeling good. Pretty good. About it. Those, yeah, it was good. Such no, a good, good burger. Okay. So, total bill. What do we got? So that so it was a thousand grivna, which is thirty bucks, is it? I don't know. Let let's look it up. I I haven't checked the exchange rate. So just a thousand grivna? Yeah, divided by forty or th 30, 30, it's thirty-seven since you're getting such a bad rate on your card. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it asking me if I'm a robot? I don't know. Twenty-seven dollars. Okay. For both of us. For both of us. Yeah. And look at that. Oh, with the discount. And they gave me this discount card because we're loyal. <laughs> got 30% off. Plus a discount. So 70. Dude, so it's less than. <laughs> so it's 20 bucks, guys, for both of us. For this beautiful place. And no, I'm not. I didn't get this because. Actually, maybe I did. Maybe I got it because I was making YouTube. $20. I, mean, no, I was making uh, Instagram stories on the first day they yeah. opened, but it wasn't like sponsor or anything. It was just like they're like, "Oh, thanks for for coming." Yeah, you're one of the first. Thank you. Yeah, like, and for twenty bucks, dude. We just had this bomb ass food. Twenty dollars. I I I wouldn't have guessed that yet, and I live here. Like, yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> but they do. They gotta put some uh, felt pads under these chairs. It's yeah. annoying as hell. <laughs> I mean, duct tape, felt pads, anything. 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 Napkin. Look at that, guys. Wow. Yeah, look at that. So this is a very old cafe. One of my favorite cafes in Kiev. So this is one of my favorite restaurants in Kiev. It's called Very Well Cafe. It's kind of a casual place that has really good food. And uh, yeah, it's nice. This is a uh, morse, it's like a traditional berry compote drink made from blackberries. All right, so we got first dish. This is a ravioli with a meat stuffed with Parmesan cheese and some rocket salad on there. Let's see how it is. Pasta in a while, but look at that. It is very good. I like a little extra salt and pepper, but it doesn't taste like ravioli I would have it in Italy. It tastes kind of like a fusion, like Ukrainian pulmiami with a 
uh, Italian sauce. That's actually very good. Like, if you look at the sauce, it's a very like Italian sauce, but inside it's a polymia, Ukrainian polymia, so it's like a hybrid, it's like a fusion dish, but it's really good. So my, my phone's a bit low in battery, so I'm gonna try one of these things. I actually have no idea how it works, but I just signed up for it. I wonder if it's gonna pop one out now. No. That was easy, I paid online. This thing just slid out and this has a has USB C micro and uh, iPhone. That's cool. It's someone's birthday. This is how you do it in Ukraine. Happy birthday. That's nice. I'm not gonna lie, with the power, uh, with the lights turned off, I just assumed the power went out. I was like, oh crap, not again, but it was just for the birthday. So, I also decided to get a burger and a glass of vodka. Decker. That's just water, but ooh, check this out, guys. Looks decent. This is how it is. Alright, it's been 29 minutes. I'm gonna put this back. So I'm gonna get too much in there half an hour. Okay. Alright guys, so all that was 11 bucks. It's a ravioli. That's the burger. That's two uh, drinks. I'm gonna leave a 10% tip. Actually more, 15% tip I guess. Yeah, I think we'll be super happy with that because in Ukraine it's actually not, um, it's not mandatory. So it's appreciated anything over 10%. So today is super, super cold outside, but I've discovered this buff to kind of block the wind. And then, here's my new, latest trick, guys. Double beanies. Having a second beanie makes your head so much warmer. I don't know why I never thought of that. So I have like a thin ring of wool one underneath, smart wool, and this is like a normal, uh, normal one on top. It's so much warmer. And I just have like some mechanic gloves, but these work. But it's it's minus today, so it's cold. Look at this. Uh, if I'm reviewing my favorite restaurants to keep, I have to include a kid. This is a normally cook for lunch, but I have no power today. I decided to pop it for a beer. So I asked for something sour. So he's gonna be a raspberry coconut beer. Jack, you want? You want just the the can bottle? See how this one is. I decided to stay for another beer because there's no power at my house. So I figured I might as well hang out here where it's light and I have a uh, Wi Fi. Man, I'd rather be home on my couch chilling, but this is also a couch, so I can't complain too much. It's not bad. Not my favorite milk style, but it's okay. It's good. Guys, I'm stuck in the bathroom. Well, I'm talking this bar. I want to go home, but there's no electricity still. I can tell by my, my cameras and everything. Uh, I get a text notification when it comes back on. So there's no point in going back and just sitting in the dark, so I'm just kind of waiting around. But I'm getting drunk. I had two beers ready. <sighs> I mean, it is a kind of nice restaurant bar, but. Alright guys, it's 9.30 p.m. The bar is actually closing because uh, curfew's soon. And my power just came back on. I'm so happy. I am so happy to go home. For whatever reason, when there's a blackout, these couple restaurants always have power. So it's it's convenient. At least we can go somewhere. I don't think I've had written cards in a long time, but these uh, postcards I got from that long line in Ukraine and these special stamps, I want to make sure that a couple people get them. So uh, 
Uh, anyone who made a substantial donation to any of the charities that I recommended uh, to my GoFundMe or directly to Resolve for Ukraine or directly to any of the charities, uh, please just send me a screenshot of your, um, your donation. Uh, and I would love to write you a postcard just as a thank you. And I know it's not, you know, a, a big thing, but I know that having a little connection um, with Ukraine, when I actually came from Ukraine, well, hopefully it actually arrives in Ukraine or from Ukraine. I don't know how long it'll take or if it'll even arrive, but, um, you know, having, holding something that actually came from Ukraine during the war, I think would be you know, kind of meaningful. So, uh, yeah, for anyone who made a significant donation, so anything $300 uh, or above, or even, you know, let's say even $200 uh, and above, um, please uh, write me on uh, Instagram or Twitter to send a screenshot of or forward me the email. And I would love to uh, send you a little postcard as a thank you. So thank you guys for supporting Corinne. And let me actually get some of these stamps on. I know it loses value technically by using them, but it makes it more authentic. I don't understand why, I mean, I guess it's a collection, but for me, it feels more valuable actually of the stamp being used from Ukraine than just bought in Ukraine, if that makes sense. And if you want a little Johnny DNA, that's my spit for you guys. You're welcome. As to you, Carol Martin, thank you very much. And John Langston from Norway to Sintok. Musafir. Sean's back. We're at Musafir. <laughs> this is a Crimean Tartar restaurant. I love this place. What do you got, buddy? You got the chuburek. So I got the chuburek with the uh, mutton and then uh, the yantik with uh, some salted cheese. Yeah. And then the clove, the classic clove. That looks good. So. I have my chuburek and I'm waiting for a few other, more items, but yeah, I definitely love this spot. All right, so we have this Burma. Actually, you want to cut that in half? Yeah. Let me show you. This is called Monty. This is super good. This is kind of like a steamed dumpling with meat inside and potato. And this one is a breaded uh, pastry with meat and potato inside. Yummy. Let's dig in, guys. Eat your dinner. Fantastic. Yeah. I've been here in probably two months and uh, I don't know why. I don't know why, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love this place. I need to come more often. So. I, I, I always feel the same thing. Every time I come, I'm like, oh, I should come here more often. And then I forget about it for a day, but. <laughs> Yeah, I don't walk by. If I walk by it every day, I would, I'd be here probably two, every, every two days or something. Right. So. Shout out to Musafir. So. Musafir are the best. That's what I'm looking for. There you go. <laughs> All right. Amazing place, guys. See you later. In this box, I'm not going to open it because I already know what it is. It's two more of those Ukrainian to English dictionaries. And the reason why I have this is I ordered them two months ago from, I think, the Netherlands or Germany from Amazon. And it took two months to get here. In the meantime, I already bought uh, the book, so I actually don't even need this anymore. So I think this would be a, a Christmas gift to someone or, re or resale. <laughs> but I'm not going to go to Rozeka and get one more package. All right, so now we're gonna go to Rosecca. So it looks like a liquor store, but it's actually a place to pick up my package. So just in case you need a three liter bottle of Jack Daniels. Oh my God. Uh, guys, this is three liters. It's like four or five normal bottles of Jack Daniels. Who's gonna drink this? But this is actually really good Japanese whiskey, and it comes with a uh, some glasses. So I might actually get this. <laughs> I'm surprised because it's actually hard to find this one, yeah. and it's a good price, and it comes with two glasses. So yeah. it's a. Uh, 
Dobre whiskey. <laughs> and this stuff is, yeah, I recommend it. So it's silicon spray, so my uh, doors will stop freezing shut in the, uh, in the winter here in my car. Then came over a talk. So hopefully I'll learn some of the Ukrainian finally from uh, these books, even though they took two months to get here. I will learn some of the same over. So guys, this is one of my favorite restaurants just near my house. It's called Avi. I am uh, down here actually because I have no power in my house. I have no internet. So I think you know what? Come down here, do some work, order some food, and have some. Uh, it's really food. So this is just a chicken salad. Pretty basic, but sometimes I just kind of crave a chicken sandwich, and I'm getting a, a shawarma soon. Arabian style shawarma. All right, I also got a shawarma, Rapski shawarma, double chicken. Excellent. I would say maybe the best shawarma in all of Ukraine. All right, guys, this is Porter Pub. This is a chain, uh, not a restaurant bar, I guess, bar, bar restaurant. Uh, I actually don't come here very much, and most Ukrainians kind of make fun of it because it's kind of like a Applebee's kind of place. Uh, just your typical chain bar. There's a bunch of them in every city in Ukraine, right? At least around Kiev. But I haven't been here for a while. I'm meeting someone, so let's go check it out. Welcome to the Porter Pub. So guys, I ordered onion rings, a basket of onion rings, and I got five, four <laughs> onion rings. And this was like, this is the most expensive thing in Ukraine. This was a hundred and fifteen rina, which is like three dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. For like five onion rings. <laughs> in the U.S., we would get so many more. But like, they sell onions in Ukraine. How much is a kilo of onions in Ukraine? Oh yeah, it's one of the cheapest things. Twenty yeah. rinas, yeah. And how many kilos do you think this is? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like this is the worst deal in all of Ukraine. Oh, that's funny. Well, it tastes okay though, actually. It, like, surprisingly, it tastes, it tastes pretty good. Like, except for they give me mayonnaise and ketchup. But, how much is this for onion ring? This is a dollar, two dollars. This is 75 cents for onion ring. It's like 60 grivna per onion ring. It's insane. You better appreciate those things. Oh man. my god. <laughs> I was gonna offer to share, but now I'm like. Like, there's not enough onion rings. <laughs> yeah, okay. Chicken salad. Oh, that looks better. I would love one, yes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, but this, you got pushed. No. I don't know. I got this you got soup. Is it good? Is it good? I thought about getting soup. I did wash. I cooked it wash. Yeah. So this is a good ass. This, yeah. is a, this is like a plate of wash. It's not even a yeah, bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... You have borscht every day? Yes. Every day. Important. Every yeah. day? Every yeah. single day, there's always borscht on the stove. Wow. Boiling. For sure. That's and normal. And doggy like borscht too. Even you create a dog like borscht. The, the, <laughs> the dog doesn't like to eat food unless it's mixed with borscht. Of course, that's so funny. It's yeah. a true Ukrainian They're dog. Like, what are you trying to yeah. feed me? This isn't Well, borscht. he could have this one because this one's not that good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Zero for two quarter pups so far. <laughs> but the, well, I, I, I did say, yeah. uh, you know, it's it, there's a reason that nobody's here. It's one of the reasons I like, I like coming here. <laughs> no one comes here ever, and now I know why. Yeah. The, the beer is cheap and the pizza is edible. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, no, well, let's see the pizza when it comes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pizza is here. I'm curious if you like it because I get if it's a very very thin crust like 
not a piece of crust. It's like a very thin, like a tortilla almost. I don't think it'd be that filling because it'll, it'll it's, it's big, but it's not. It doesn't look like it'll be that filling. This is one of the worst pizzas I've ever seen in my life. What the hell is this thing? Did, did somebody just shit on the plate? Like, look at how they cut. See, I think it's a different shape. But they can different, it has a different way. It's cut fine. What's no, wrong with it? Okay, pepperoni is <clears throat> supposed to be sliced oh. thin. And remember, I asked for extra cheese. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. Where there's barely it? any cheese on that. Dude, they like sprinkled yeah. a couple of pieces of cheese. Oh, it's ruined now. I mean, what are they going to do? Put it back in the oven? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Well, bon appetit. <laughs> I guess. I'm going to try this thing now, too. Oh, I thought this go. was going to be like a crepe, but it's definitely like a weird fried. Yeah. Usually, they're, they're not... It's, some, it's something like between a crepe and a burrito. Yeah. Alright, well, be honest. Be, be open-minded when you have this. Maybe it'll be <laughs> okay. good. It might, might be good. You know, you know it's, it's a good thing. You don't want all of your food to be good. Food reviews. <laughs> yeah, you want to have an honest food review, right? You want yeah. to have some that... You want to have... You know, if, if everything is like, oh, this is amazing, nobody's going to believe you. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Are you... Oh, huh? yeah. I would imagine it would just be like edible, like just like like yeah. something you could make at home. Um, I mean, I make pizza at home. That okay, the crust is not bad. Okay. I, I actually like. I, I don't always like thin crust, but yeah. this is not not a bad thin crust. Okay. Um, there's not enough cheese. Yeah. Pe the pepperonis cut wrong. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, Ukrainian food has no spice. It's the, uh -huh. the, the flavors are salt. Yeah. Salt or sweet, uh -huh. and oh yeah, I could I could throw some pepper on there. That's a that, good idea. That. That'd be better. That'll save it. All right. That'll save it. We'll yeah. see how that is afterwards. It's, it's basically bread with a little seasoning yeah. sprinkled. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look like pizza. It looks like it looks like something that I would make at home if I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I made pizza at home. I'll be honest with you. I have seen some Italian pizzas yeah. that are made this way. I've seen them thin, but oh. not, not, not like that. What is this called again? This blitz with, blitz with cheese, I mean, with, uh, chicken and mushroom and cheese, which is like my three favorite ingredients. Yeah. Wheat, chicken, and mushroom. So let's see how it is. It would be good if they just added anything to it, like salt, <laughs> pepper, <laughs> anything. <laughs> Listen, oh. I'm so hung. I was so hungry when I when I got here that I could eat the ass off an elephant. So yeah, it's, it's two p.m. <laughs> and I, this is my first meal of the day. I've been fasting all day. So for me to not like this, yeah. and I like all food, it's like this the porter pub has zero stars, guys. <laughs> Double cheese. Oh my god. All right. Well, just be thankful you didn't order it normal. All right. Yeah. So James, uh, welcome to Kiev. Nice to yeah, meet you. you. Budmo. Budmo. Hey. <laughs> I was I was gonna say that. At least the beer is okay. <laughs> it's not even great beer though. It's just okay beer. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's just... Welcome to the most mediocre place in the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy I can introduce you yeah. to, to mediocrity in Ukraine. Oh. <laughs> so guys, you guys are going to the bathroom here. Oh, yeah. And I was like, is there really two? Toilets right next to each other, and then I realize it's a mirror. <laughs> so, thank you for introducing me to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. It was the least I could do. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see, good to see tourist place, places. Okay, your car's here. Let's go. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, it, it was a van. Yeah. It is a van. I'll go around. Well, oh, guys, finally gonna mail these out. I haven't. I've been waiting to go to the post office. We're needing to the post office to mail these out. And finally today, I'm sending them. So sorry if they're coming a little bit late, but hopefully they will arrive, guys.
So this is the the standard one. Okay. Okay. No, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, that was easy. Uh, there was no line. There's like one person in front of me, and I thought I would have to put extra stamps because they're being shipped to like Norway and the USA. But they're like, no, that's it. And I got to use the fancy stamp, the art stamp, that took me two hours in line. <laughs> and so I hope uh, you guys enjoy that. Uh, but. Thank you for being the donors. Uh, as a reminder, for anyone who has donated a significant amount to any of the charities that I mentioned or my GoFundMe, uh, if you just send me like a screenshot or something to my Twitter or my Instagram, I'm happy to write you a postcard. It might take a, a month to get to you, but just as kind of like a nice thank you. Uh, I think I said them out like anything over $250. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that many stamps or these special uh, postcards or I would do it for everyone uh, but this is kind of just a, a thank you to people who donate a lot somebody is starting for surgery oh my god juicy my duck pasta is incredibly good Duck leg kachka pasta. I have a fondue uh, chicken teriyaki, which was pretty good. These mushrooms are really good. And this tea was the best. This is a uh, pineapple mango something tea. They always love this place, guys. All right, good morning, guys. So today I am near Kshulska station, which is also part of Kshulska the area that I live in, but this area I call Upper Pershursk. Uh, first, it's kind of up the hill a little tiny bit. It's only a kilometer walk, so it's only a 10 minute walk. But here also has really nice restaurants. So this is Bao. This is a really fancy Asian restaurant that I only come to for business lunch. Uh, here we have some kind of a nice for skyscrapers and there is the most expensive supermarket in all of Europe, or at least all of Ukraine. Here. It's called Good Wine. So we're gonna go there for lunch. We have a beautiful mural. We have these new high-rise glass buildings, and we have Good Wine. You can usually tell who's shopping here by the type of uh, cars and SUVs that are in this parking lot. This is a pretty tame day, but still, you can see uh, Q8s and X5s and Cayennes. Here we go guys, the best grocery store in all of Ukraine. All the flowers you can have here. You have the champagne selection right when you come in. So what do you guys need? That's how you know supermarket is fancy, is when you walk in, you don't first go to fruits and vegetables. You just go to like expensive bottles of champagne. And I mean expensive. Look at this thing. Is that a thousand dollars? I guess so is this, but yeah. And there's a little restaurant inside of my friend at. They also have really nice bakery items. Nice croissants and tarts. Oh my god, guys. That was good. Hello. Look at this. Claire's. And of course, you have the normal supermarket stuff as well. This is kind of like a Whole Foods, but more of like an Erewhon, I guess. Butcher as well. And 
all the kind of pre-made pre-made foods that you would expect and of course uh, dry aged stuff as well as a lot of cheese guys it's a pretty big supermarket I don't really shop here because it's too expensive but I do come here to get like specialty spices and things that you can't find at normal supermarkets. So Dust Zippo sometimes will have some like Asian stuff that you, can, you can't get anywhere else. But let's say I wanted to get like chili sauce from like France or something. Or like a spiced uh, tomato and apple chutney. You can't really find this in other, uh, in other normal supermarkets. I think it's like uh, hot sauce as well all right so i'm meeting luke here hey buddy good to see you again <laughs> you're doing the video i thought you were i decided to get one of these cheeky cream things and uh coffee as well it's like a beautiful crema but not like just a white crema it's like a like a marble or something. How much do they like to make Americano here? They hate it. It's they they always tell me to make filter coffee. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, no, I don't want to fucking filter coffee. This isn't a gas station in the US. They like the, uh, but it's, it's, it's like the, the worst form of coffee. Yeah, fil Americano. filter? Americano. Americano? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you're mixing water with, um, they're opening it up. Of, they're um, opening it up this espresso, yeah. yeah, but whatever, it's good. So we decided to get some sushi. I think this might be my tempura roll. Oh, oh, beautiful. This is the uh, so I'll, this is the tempura roll. Yeah. Well. Oh, that's a tempura. Yeah. It's a tempura shrimp tempura roll. Okay. Okay. And we have the classic California California keys roll. Yes. Yeah. Special yeah. health. Alright, now we got some tempura. How was it? Amazing. Is that? Love it. Okay, let's, let's dig in, guys. Fried food. Can't go wrong. Okay. Yeah. Except for it's not tempura sauce, it's like some kind of like. I don't know what it is. I'm sure, it's good. Brilliant. Yeah. What, are, what, what sauce is this? It's sweet chili. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. I mean, it is, yeah, deep fried. Shrimps, it has to be good. <laughs> <laughs> so, total bill was four eighty-five, which is what did I what did I say it was? Eleven pounds. Thirteen dollars. <laughs> thirteen dollars. So it was thirteen dollars and sixty cents. Yeah. For a nice bowl and a, uh, a tempura, a shrimp tempura. I think that's a pretty good deal, right? Can't beat that. How much would that be in Australia? <laughs> I think around forty-five dollars. Which would, I think we owe uh, 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 Australian dollars. It would translate to thirty years. Thirty dollars, yeah. yeah. I think this would be thirty bucks in the US, yeah. uh, which I think would be overpriced. But thirteen bucks, even though this is actually technically like the cost of lunch for Ukraine, this is a good deal, guys. Fantastic food, great, great quality, great service. Better than the uh, foods. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Luke has a huge uh, haul, and I just have some Parmigiano Rago cheese. So, so, interesting fact for you. Okay, tell me. I bought this lot. Uh, this, this bread will be purely used to cook something called grain pea. Okay, what is that? Is, um, you fry the bread. Uh, so, it's basically, first you um, soak the bread in milk with some eggs. Uh -huh. like French uh, toast. Yeah, yeah. No, well, they call it green pea here, so... Okay. There's a <laughs> Alright, guys, and there you have it. Back in front of Ministry of Shorma, right by my house. There's so many great places to eat in Kiev, even during this crazy war, even with power outages, that I really believe that the food here, the food scene here, is better than a lot of countries even during peacetime, and definitely a better value as well. Uh, and the fact that you can get there either by walking, taking a metro, or a low-cost Uber just makes it even better. So let me know what you thought was your favorite places in this video, where else I should go in Kyiv, 
and how it compares to the restaurants where you guys live. Prices and quality and all that stuff. Uh, comment below for where you live, how much this stuff would have been, and which ones were your favorites. Because definitely before the war, Ukraine was known for great restaurants. And even now, during it, it still goes strong. Food culture is strong. It's one thing you'll never take away from Ukrainians is their love for great food and great restaurants.